our first applicant is... Toya Wilcox. Your job, please. Camel guide. Essential. Age between 24 and 35. Previous experience as a guide. Knowledge of herbal medicine useful. And salary. Between four and nine hundred pounds per month, depending on experience, plus accommodation. Applicant accepted. Camel trekking across a hostile desert like this one is not about luxury, and the holiday makers are paying for that genuine wilderness experience. And part of that is to ride on rather large, grumpy camels. I was to train as an assistant to guide Sethi Hanegbi, and my job would be to help look after them. But first, we have to make friends. <laughs> Seth, is he going to spit? Hmm? No, no. It's llama and uh, alpaca the split. You can tell he's mean. Sometimes. If you will succeed with him, we will succeed with all of them. Oh, let's, okay. let's be positive but again, about this. First, you make a special noise like... Like a camel noise? Uh -huh. And then you will spit. That's right. It's full. Okay. Yes. Oh, his breath. Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. You've got halitosis, mate. <laughs> You've forgotten to tell me how I get down from this position. <laughs> the trekkers who had arrived the night before were still asleep. I checked I packed all the right supplies for our three-day trek. The food is vegetarian as meat would go off in the heat of the desert. Next, I prepared my new friends. He's got out. Can I help you? Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Naughty. wondering what I'm doing, don't you? You just think I'm hanging around. Oh, well, stand then. I don't care. <laughs> All I had to do now was convince the trekkers that I knew what I was talking about. Well, everybody, welcome to the camel trek. The way to kind of win a camel's heart, <laughs> so I believe, is a nice scratch just behind the eye in, in the, the socket of the skull. And I think that goes down a treat. When you get up on this, try and get to your right leg. That's it. No, you're riding it backwards. That's it. Oh, that's it. OK. And then when I get Shadik to stand, I, I recommend you hold front and back and lean back a bit. So do you want to give it a go? Yep. Up I'm ready. It. OK. <laughs> So we were finally off into the wilderness. No mod cons and no luxuries. Just plenty of water, food and sleeping bags. Come on. Not taking any rubbish from you, matey. We were going to be travelling around 10 miles a day. The trekkers took it in turns to ride the camels, but Sethi and I had to walk the whole way. As the guide, it was Sethi's job to show the trekkers the sights and to make sure they were all OK. A minor, a minor problem here. A sandal's it? gone in. Oh no! Have we got any wire we could make a hook? Yeah. Not at one of you. I tell you what, Are you good while fishing? I get lunch, 
Why don't you all have a go at getting this? Good idea. Because you must be starving. Lunch consists of a staple diet of dried fruit and nuts. I should have packed enough for three days. To make. Oh. I know you've walked miles. Yeah. I've made a major boo boo. I haven't bought enough food. Whoa. This is your lunch. <coughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, go uh, to our base, make you some arrangement. <laughs> yeah, really, no you deal. can do that. Well, look, I'll do that, and um, we will eat it. <laughs> Let's get it while it's there. Pineapple up. Who wants a tiny bite? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, this is Toya here. Um, I'm with the trek, and we're at a well called Beer Mill Hen. Who wants a little bit of pineapple? A little bit. Toya, our camel's <laughs> edible. Okay, um, if you go through to Wadi Metek, you know where Wadi Metek is? I'm just getting the map out. I think if you follow the trail down, you'll come to a road, and when you stop at the road, we'll meet you there. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you there. Okay, bye. your horses Good. for when we are uh, camels, sorry. How do I get under <laughs> He knows he has okay, got him. <laughs> Although Seki and I had to walk for hours, there was no rest when we came to our overnight stop. We had to set up camp, but no tents. On this holiday, you sleep in the open. This guy has been carrying something like 250 kilos today. It's really important to massage the circulation back. The trekkers had a similar idea. Hello. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm in trouble. No, you're not. <laughs> I am. Have you got my provisions? Of course. We didn't really get much to eat today, did we? No, we didn't have anything for lunch. Sleeping under the stars might sound romantic, until you get the call of nature, that is. Now, where was that rock? Toya? Toya? No. Good morning. Probably you don't tight one of the camel well. You run away. Oh, no. Maybe back home. Look here. Maybe you'll follow his footprint. I will continue as the people live. Okay. Cooking food, making breakfast. Okay? Yes. You feel... Um, no, I'm just sorry, sir. I'm just waking up. <laughs> um, I just grab him and drag him back here. Yeah. Take some water with you, you know. Okay. Good news, good news. It's pretty likely this camel's got one leg still tied, so it's only got one front foot, which is really worrying me because there's some really bad terrain around here. Oh, wow! Where have you been? Right, you're coming with me. I'm so pleased to see you, I can't tell you off. Except you don't have any confidence in me now. You have got me into such trouble. Oh, shit. Oh, Toya is coming. Oh, Toya. Toya. Hi. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very, very Now thirsty. it's a lesson for you. What did I do wrong? To tie it well the camel. Well, I thought 
When I found him, he wasn't tired. Of course, he opened it. <laughs> I know, but you know, I just I thought I'd find him uh, no, have, slowly we'll, hobbling. We will practice it again. Have I missed breakfast? Yes, you missed breakfast, oh. but you know, something left, you know, I have uh, some pita bread somewhere. Are you exhausted? No, I'm not exhausted, I'm just ratty. Another day, another ten miles. You know, we have to reach Mount Bear. This is our uh, ending of our tour. Maybe you want to lead the people? Yeah, I'd love to. You know I will go and round up the tribe. Okay, let's go. Okay, everybody. I'm going to be your guide for the next day and a half. So do you mind getting to your camels and we'll set off? Because I want to be at base camp before tonight. Really? Yeah. And you think we'll trust you? <laughs> You've got no choice. <laughs> Do you really know what you're doing? Um, read my lips. Chop, chop, come on. Come on, children. All right. My first task was to lead the group to our overnight camp, which wasn't too difficult. I just had to make sure I stayed on the marked you're path. Okay. My big problem was I had no information to give my trekkers along the way. I think it's time to start preparing the supper. And as I'm the boss, I think you should be the chef tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a knife. Have a nice time. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the trekking. I think, you know, as long as you've got the stamina, there's, there's no problem there. But what I'm having great difficulty with is tour guiding. You need a lot of knowledge, and I haven't got that knowledge. I and mean, Seth has been brill. He's everything I am telling these people, he's told me. But this whole country is steeped in tradition and myth and very famous stories, and uh, I don't know them all. I'm getting on with these guys okay. Well, we're very close to the Rift Valley here, so we've got many gradients thanks to earthquakes. And what we have here is a waterfall. Obviously not working at the moment, but we are close to the season where we're going to have that rain. And where we're walking will become a river for a very short while. It's narrow. Now, I'm going to pick some of this. Now, I'd like a volunteer, please. Perhaps see. Just scoop that up in your hands. Now, just add a little water and then just lather it up. There you go, desert soap. Wow, wow, that's really good. My final challenge was to get them all up the mountain. The slight problem being, camels absolutely hate going uphill. Come on. Come on. I'll shout in your ear so loudly you need no friend. Toya, she improved. It was a bit difficult at the beginning. I was impressed by her, um, her cheerfulness and her, her hard work. She just didn't stop. She just kept on going when, when she was exhausted. I enjoyed every minute of the action. Like the view! Very good. Good teacher. Very good. Very good. <laughs> the landscape and the people, Sefi and, and new friends here are just fantastic and you can't ever replace those things. They're, they're more valuable than anything else. So, okay, I was a lousy tour guide, but I enjoyed the experience.